The movie about the Watergate scandal, All the President's Men, has a famous quote, follow the money. The reporters unraveling that scandal would have to trace campaign donations and their potentially illegal use. We could apply this famous quote to our Gospels for today and last Sunday. The two texts are, as scripture scholar Father Eugene Laverdier writes, about the proper use of wealth. Now, our lectionary cycle has dropped verses applying to this portion of the Gospel, which call the Pharisees in Jesus' audience lovers of money. They scoff at Jesus' instructions to his disciples in last week's text about the use of money. Other missing verses, Father Laverdier says, offer a context about the law and the prophets, that is, the Old Testament mission which ended with John the Baptist. Laverdier writes that Luke may be applying the label Pharisees to Christians who had heard Jesus' message and rejected it. Jesus tells the story about a rich man who enjoyed his wealth but ignored the poor beggar Lazarus at his door. In the afterlife, the tables are turned and the poor man rests in the bosom of Abraham, enjoying a good existence while the rich man is in torment. Luke's community still has the law and the prophets guiding their use of money to help the poor. By implication, Father Laverdier writes, and I quote, he also tells his readers that the word of Jesus, the risen Lord, in the community does not always result in the sharing which should characterize it. Pope Francis has written much about the inequalities surrounding wealth and the world's goods. His words were rejected by some as outside the realm of a pope's field of concern. But they nevertheless echo today's warnings from Jesus. Who are the beggars at the door of the world's wealthy? And how is the gospel challenging us to change the systems, depriving Lazarus of a place at the table?